at the rim. This young man wants to get to the basket. There with got away maybe with a little oh, look. But that's a finish. That's a big time finish. On the track and field squad. And they are ready to see Greg Brown begin his own Texas legacy. Jericho Sims wins the tip. Matt Coleman, fourth season running the point for the Longhorns. He's out there with Courtney Ramey. Again, no Andrew Jones. Held out for precautionary reasons. Come the Vaqueros. And the shot affected by Greg Brown. And brought down by Matt Coleman. What are you looking for early here, Lance? Well, I, I want to see how quickly Texas gets on the end. secret. I talked to Coach Smart about this. I think a, a shorter bench is better for him. And, and through history, I've watched his teams and the way they played. And whenever their back is against the wall, they come up big. For the Vaqueros, the man with the basketball now, number 14, Javon Levi, is a guy that will make them go. They lost their top two scores from a team that won eight of their last ten games last season. But Levi is the straw that stirs the drink. Now a tip, rims out. Of course, Brock Cunningham keeps it alive, and Brown hard to the hoop, no. Second attempt is good, and Gray. And that's something also that Brown will have to learn to adjust to because, yeah, you can attack the rim, but at this level, it's not going to be like high school. You have other guys that can jump, and teams will play you for that, so you've got to develop a little bit of a mid-range game or game, game where you can stop and make a play for someone else or knock down shots so you're not running over people like they're bowling pins. Vaqueros, ice cold from the four. One of 14. And there's that gamble. Javon in. Levi, corner three right before the shot clock expired. No. To the bonus, Levi hit the front end of a one-on-one. -on -one. And then Coleman leaves it short. Greg Brown was trying to, it's about three and a half. So a big jump expected from him going from that freshman to sophomore year. And because he runs the floor so well, he can get at least two or three dunks per night. And again, being extremely aggressive. Chris Freeman. And the Carols are now within single digits. A nice run here. And you see a new life with his UT Rio Grande Valley team. Brown to the lane was pulled. Nelson picks up the foul. One and one for Greg Brown. It's the first. Came up and forced Texas into some tough situations and trying to make plays that weren't there. Now they end up with an easy basket. Brown nearly turned it over. And then misses the floater. Driving the spin, but Dell got a piece of it. Much better. The seven zip run to close it out, as that is a nice roll to finish for Quentin Johnson. And these are the mid major home losses under Shaka Smart, UT Arlington, Kent State, Radford, and VCU. And there's been more close calls than just these losses. Yeah, and those, it, that's no slap at these programs because those are very good teams and teams. Hello, Greg Brown! Welcome! This young man wants to get to the basket. There with got away maybe with a little oh, look. But that's a finish. That's a big time finish. I mean, I don't even know that Brock jumped to get that. Somehow he wedged his way to create space. He has such a strong lower body. So Levi also hit with a foul. Another kid. Collision as Coleman goes down. And another collision here. Inbound to Brown. Using that length. And a whistle. Well, when Brown caught the ball right around the middle of the lane or just, just below. When the tech that we put on Ramey was actually called on Brown. So did not see what 42% from three. That's when Ramey and Andrew Jones both really started to take over.
for the Longhorns. Donovan Williams trying to stay with Butler. Tough shot, Brown. The fresh with Butler. Tough shot, Brown. The freshman. That was a nice rebound. And Texas was not a good rebounding team last season. Actually, we're negative in rebounding margin. You would think with that length and athleticism that they had last year, that he's got to be more consistent. Andrew Jones has been a good shooter, but no more of a consistent. Have not seen Will Baker for him in terms of his college career, but he can do it. Jones, we've seen it. Trevor's can get hot if he should come back. And Kyrie Irving. He always blew me away with how nimble he was for his size. The way he could tiptoe the baseline under the basket, not many dudes of that size can do. You want to talk about playing with violence. He attacks the rim with violence. Yeah, and an extremely smart basketball player as well. Butler is trying to trip a whistle. Two minutes left to play in the season opener. Next up for the Longhorns, so take off to Asheville, North Carolina. For what was supposed to be the real Maui invitation. COVID-19 obviously fouls out. Gritty player for the Vaqueros. Finds himself in the middle of everything. As Brown came central time. And the opportunity to take on Indiana or Providence. This young man wants to get to the basket. There with got away maybe with a little oh. hook. But that's a finish. That's a big time finish.